I'm Liana Darbashan and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. The session of the Parliament of Western Armenia. A three-day morning was declared in Armenia and Artsakh. 72 volunteers from Shirak who were under blockade in Hinshan returned home. The active military cooperation between Turkey and Ukraine. The first Tuma box was opened in Gavar. One fortress and its surroundings were registered as protected natural area. The regular sitting of the second session of fourth convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia took place on December 19, 2020. The representative of the Republic of Western Armenia in the United Nations, Lydia Markosyan, greeted those present and suggested starting the session with a moment of silence in memory of the soldiers killed during the Artsakh War. A film about Leonid Asgazian and a fragment from the interview with Kagi Ginosyan was shown before the speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian. The President made a speech and referred to the post-war situation. The new deputy candidates and the composition of the government were presented during the sitting of the Parliament. The composition will function until December 2023. The agenda of the parliamentary meetings of the year was formed. The functions of state structures of Western Armenia in the current year were summarized. The details of the sitting will be presented later. A national three-day mourning period was declared in Armenia and Artsakh from December 19. As Armen Press reports, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan, and other government officials are expected to attend a commemorative procession from the Republic Square to the Yerablur Military Cemetery, which will begin today at 1 p.m. Other memorial services will be done during these days. The President of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, wrote on his Facebook page, Dear compatriots, we have agreed to declare three days of mourning in Artsakh and Armenia with the Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia, taking into account that December 19 marks as the 40th day of the ceasefire of the 44-day war to commemorate the memory of our marchers who died defending their homeland. 72 volunteers from Shirak region who were under blockade in Hinshan of Shushi have returned home. As Armen Press informs, Member of Parliament Sofia Hovsepian wrote on her Facebook page, The roads are open and the peacekeepers are in their places. The shift was well organized and 72 people from Shirak left for home. Everyone was fine. They will be in the region within hours. Earlier, in a conversation with Armen Press, the Press Secretary of the President of Artsakh, Vahran Pogosyan, said that the Azeri forces tried to set up a base on the road leading to Old Chen, so that to put pressure on the Armenian side. However, Old Chen was unblocked as a result of the intervention of the Russian peacekeeping troops. The head of the Turkish military industry, Ismail Demir, who is on the U.S. sanctions list, negotiated with Ukrainian military officials in Kiev. Anadolu agency reports that Ukraine plans to continue purchasing Turkish unnamed aerial vehicles, as well as to purchase warships to strengthen its security at sea. Another high-ranking delegation of Turkey, headed by Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu and Defense Minister Hulusi Akar, has left for Kiev. They are holding two plus two negotiations with their Ukrainian partners. The Defense Minister of Ukraine told Turkish journalists that Turkish striking unnamed aerial vehicles are considered as the most modern and effective weapons. There is no need to persuade anyone. It has been proven during the hostilities in Syria, Libya and Nagorno-Karabakh, said the Defense Minister of Ukraine. On December 18th, thanks to the cooperation between the Tuma Center for Creative Technologies and DOT 818, the first Tuma box was opened in Gavar, a program aimed at the educational development of small towns and villages. Welcoming those present, Tuma CEO Marilu Papazian stated, In a few days, a Tuma box will be opened in the border town of Bert, located in Tavush province. This process is ongoing and we reaffirm our mission to make the Tuma curriculum accessible to young people in even the smallest communities in Armenia and Artsakh. At the event, the first registered students of the Gavar Box learned more about the program and met with experienced Tumo alumni. Some of them were the first ones to try out robotics, drawing and programming. The Ministry of Environment and Urban Development of Western Armenia prepared a report on the ecology of Van Fortress and its surroundings. Work has been carried out since 2011 to protect natural resources. The report was included in the agenda of the Van Regional Commission for the Protection of Natural Property and was accepted for registration by the decision number 241 of November 13, 2020. The Ministry valued the forces of Van and its surroundings. The letter was registered as a protected natural area. It should be noted that Van Fortress is a protected stone built in the before common area 9th 17th century in Tushpa, the capital of the Ararat Kingdom. Tushpa was found in the area of the present day city of Van. It is the largest fortress of its kind. Now we present you an ancient Armenian song, Dele Yaman, that was sang at the Dadivank Monastery.
full version is available on the YouTube channel of the Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.